Let us now talk about the functions and deficiency symptoms of or caused due to the next element that is sulfur. Sulfur is absorbed as sulfate. Absorbed as sulfate. Or sulfate salts also we can say sulfate ions or sulfate salts now the functions which are performed by or where this sulfur plays a very important role are first sulfur is a constituent of two amino acids constituent of two amino acids and these two amino acids are methionine and cysteine. Now, how is this sulfur containing or these sulfur containing amino acids going to help? We know that amino acids are going to join to form the protein. And these amino acids are part of many, many important proteins. And if we are able to recall the structure of um, antibodies or insulin, there are disulfide bonds which are formed. So if there is a polypeptide chain and another polypeptide chain and these polypeptide chains have these sulfur containing amino acids. So the sulfur containing amino acid of one chain and of the other, they would form the sulfide bonds and these bonds would help in formation of a particular protein structure. So the extension of the same thing is that sulfur containing amino acids help in protein structure like here we can take examples of antibodies where the bonds are between the heavy chains and the lighter chains. Antibody is one example and insulin. In insulin, the alpha and the beta chain, they combine by formation of these disulfide bonds. So one, it is a component or constituent of, a, uh, of amino acid like methionine and cysteine. And when these uh, sulfur containing amino acids become a part of protein, then the bonds between these sulfur containing amino acids would give a protein that particular structure. Next important role which is or where this uh, sulfur is important is in synthesis of certain vitamins. like biotin, thiamine. So it is also required for formation of vitamins. Another function or role where sulfur is essential is for formation of coenzyme A which we commonly write as CoA or coenzyme A. So this is basically coenzyme A. And this coenzyme A is very essential for various reactions where uh, it acts as an uh, acceptor or it binds with certain molecules in respiratory chains and photosynthetic chains. Another place where sulfur plays important role is Peridoxin. So for formation of peridoxin, which acts as electron acceptor. So this peridoxin is also uh, having sulfur as, as its constituent. Now these are the important uh, places where sulfur is very, very essential. Plus, if there is deficiency of this sulfur, so the deficiency symptom 
are very unique. There would be yellowing of leaves. Yellowing of leaves. But this yellowing starts first in the younger leaves. So yellowing of leaves is seen in younger leaves. Now, when we say yellowing, then what exactly happens is the leaf blade turns little yellowish, but the veins look greener. And this is like slight yellowness which is seen in the younger leaves. And once the younger leaf have become slightly pale or slightly yellow, then yellowing of older leaves starts. So we can write followed by yellowing of older leaves. That means the symptoms appear first in the younger leaves and immediately after that even the older leaves also start to turn yellow and older leaves will completely become yellow. Younger leaves will become pale yellowish green followed by yellowing of older leaves and the older leaves will totally become yellow and they would fall off. Another deficiency symptom which has been reported is excessive root growth in certain plants and because of this excessive root growth it could be resulting into formation of certain nodulated structures and related to this we will add one function here and that is that sulfur plays an important role in nodule formation so it is required for nodule formation in leguminous plants. Now we can correlate these things. It is required for nodule formation and we know how nodules are formed. Nodules are formed by division of the cortical cells of the roots and the deficiency of it would result into extensive root growth where there would be lumps formed and those lumps can result into blockages of the root pa passage of uh, xylem and phloem and that may result into death of the plant. So normally it is required for uh, cortical cells to divide so that nodules can be formed and rhizobium type of bacteria can grow there. But if there is deficiency of sulfur then there would be extensive root growth which would or which might result into blockages. So there are two main symptoms and we have to remember about the first symptom that the yellowing starts in the younger leaves first but the leaves which get completely yellow that is the older ones and the root growth of which may result into blockages. So functions of sulfur and the deficiency symptoms. Now let us talk about the next uh, element. The next element that we are discussing is iron. It is absorbed in the form of ferric ions. As ferric iron, it gets absorbed by the plant. It plays a very, very important role. So let us first discuss the functions where iron is essential. One is that this iron is a constituent of substances or molecules like ferredoxin and cytochrome. So constituent of ferredoxin and cytochrome. Both these ferredoxin and cytochrome are very essential for electron transport. So this is the continued function. Constituent is iron. 
and it results in formation of peridoxin and cytochrome. These are iron containing proteins and these two iron containing proteins that is peridoxin and cytochrome help in electron transport chains during respiratory pathways and photosynthetic pathways during respiratory and photosynthetic pathways and they are helping in transport or transfer of electrons and we know that this transfer or transport takes place by oxidation reduction ferrous changes into ferric and ferric comes back into ferrous form and that is how this electron gets transferred and this electron transfer is ultimately going to generate energy so ferridoxin and cytochrome they are essential or they are the uh, important proteins in this electron transport chain the next place or function where the iron is essential is for chlorophyll <coughs> synthesis chlorophyll synthesis also requires iron and that is why its deficiency is going to affect this chlorophyll synthesis so when we are talking of iron we consider certain important things one is ferridoxin and cytochrome then the role of ferridoxin and cytochrome in various pathways and then coming to the chlorophyll synthesis and now we can talk of the deficiency symptoms based on these functions deficiency symptom one and very very important one is chlorosis of younger leaves as chlorophyll synthesis would get affected in deficiency of iron then chlorophyll production would be less so it would cause chlorosis of younger leaves in most of these elements that we have discussed so far we have talked of a loss of pigment that is chlorosis and we have seen that it's it appears first in the younger leaves and then it is seen in the older leaves in case of iron deficiency it is only the younger leaf which would get affected and there is no effect on older leaves that means in case of deficiency of iron it is going to be only younger leaf or younger leaves which would get affected and there would be no effect seen on the older leaves one more related function is or because of deficiency symptom is that chloroplast synthesis of formation would get reduced so chloroplast production will be less and again if there is no pigment then the organelle in which this pigment is present its production would also decrease so iron these are the important functions and the important deficiency symptoms the most important thing that we have to remember is this that it is only iron where chlorosis is seen in younger leaves and there is absolutely no effect on the older leaves that means deficiency of iron does not affect the older leaves they are going to remain as it is keep performing photosynthesis without any change in them so after iron we'll take up the next element now before we start with the next element we need to add one function in iron so that was our uh, seventh element that was iron and one function which needs to be added here is that iron is important constituent of certain enzymes like peroxidase and catalase peroxidase and catalase 
These peroxidase and catalase, they are present in peroxisomes and they help in formation of hydrogen peroxide and dissociation of hydrogen peroxide because hydrogen peroxide is toxic to the plant. So during metabolic processes, as it is produced, it should be disintegrated or destroyed. So that is done by these two enzymes and iron is the important constituent.